Hey everyone, um, this video is going to cover uh, the process of relining these brake shoes for this uh, 1967 BMW R60-2. Um, these came off the rear um, and they were contaminated with oil from the rear drive leaking. Uh, so no stopping power on these original old shoes on the lining. So we're going to remove these linings and uh, we have new linings and rivets that we're going to install and uh, hopefully have some rear brakes again so there's lots of different ways probably to do this i'm just going to demonstrate the way I, I like to do them um, to get the old rivets out you can drill them out carefully if you want and not just being careful not to damage the the brake shoes um, this is a little cutter i have um, flush cutter and what you can do is use it to snip the snip the rivets here and then just push them out so let's see if we can get a couple of them out here i'll show you they're just soft copper so using this tool you might be able to see this one here i just was able to snip snip it flush and uh, we can do that with the rest and then they should come out really easily And once you get them cut, you can just take a, a small punch and then uh, push them out. And they'll come out that way. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. So we've got the old brake lining off this shoe here, and uh, yeah, it's completely oily. So we're going to do, remove the other one too. Uh, another way you can do these is if you want to just break the uh, old linings off, you can just pry them off um, like this. They usually break off rather easily. Obviously, we don't care about them, so it doesn't hurt to break them up into small pieces. But uh, once you've got the linings broken off, you can just snip the heads off the rivets and push them out the other side. So that's, that's another way to get rid of these linings pretty easily. Okay, so uh, after we've got the old linings off, we've cleaned up the shoes real nice. Um, it's time to rivet on the new linings. Uh, the linings are already pre-drilled, so they go on real easily. Um, I just did this one. Here's what it looks like when it's done. So uh, there are different ways to rivet these. I think there are different tools. Um, what I'm actually using is this. I have a chain uh, install tool, chain breaking and installation tool. Pit Posse sells this one, but I think they're made by lots of different companies. And uh, using the tool after you put a chain on, a rear drive chain on a bike, uh, of course BMWs don't have them shaft drive, but um, use this tool to um, install the rivet pin uh, on, the, on the master link. Um, but what I've done is... Um, I came up with uh, uh, one of the pieces in the tool is a little mandrel like this and uh, I ground it down so that it fits right into the the holes where the head of the rivets go on the brake lining so it's a nice tight fit in there um, so then when we use the tool we can just 
tighten this down onto the rivet and this will flare out the bottom of the rivet, rivet while it's pressing on the head up here. So um, real quick, show you how to do that. So here's the brake lining and uh, I find it easier to install all of these uh, new rivets into the lining first like this. There's 10 rivets per, per lining, per shoe. So, just go ahead and get them all started in there where they're, where they're gonna go. They're pretty tight. There we go. So there's all 10 of them started. And then we can just place them on the shoe. Always one stubborn one, right? So once we've got them into the shoe, we're going to use this tool to set the rivets. Um, put the head of it into the rivet like this, and then I'm going to tighten it against the back side to flare that rivet out. So. There we have uh, one perfectly flared rivet and nine more to go. So just wait, work your way around the shoe until you have them all on there. So there we have uh, both brake uh, linings riveted onto the shoes. Um, that tool does a real nice job and it's a tool I already had at home so I didn't have to go buy a special rivet tool. Works perfectly. Uh, the, net, the only last thing we have to do on these is uh, bevel these leading edges um, just so that there's no drag. Um, just I just use a belt sander and just take off a little bit off, off the top of these. And this is what I'm talking about here. Just the first little bit of the, sh of the brake lining. I'll bevel it down. And uh, these are ready to go back on the bike. Okay, uh, we're ready to reinstall these rear shoes now that they've got the new linings on. And uh, what I've done is taken the springs and put them over both brake shoes. Uh, that's really easy to do at this point. And then what we're going to do is kind of clamshell these onto the rear drive. Um, they fit onto the rear post back here and onto the uh, brake activator up there. So we're going to place them around both of those and then we should be able to just push them down like this into place. The only thing we have to watch out for sometimes is this washer down here. Ooh. Yep. Let's try that one more time. Always wear your safety glasses when you're working with these springs. There it goes. All right. 
This is what it looks like when they're back in place. Everything looks good. Ready to go.